let's do this thing. Not the game edit, the full song. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Third. Oh, yes. Oh.
Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Oh, don't tease me, there's a solo coming. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, baby. Yes, please. Yes, please. Correct. Devil Trigger. Yes. Music and on. Yeah. Okay, all right, first of all, that was sick. Second of all, I got a couple things I want to point out on this uh, that were also really cool. So number one, as chat pointed out, we actually had the um, Devil Trigger um, uh, motif playing at the end. Right, okay, now two other things I want to point out. Uh, and I'm going to go actually in reverse order here. Uh, the first is in the chorus. All 
All right. This is a small thing, but it's really cool. All right. So I might have to play this a couple times for your ears to catch it. In your right ear, if you're wearing headphones or earbuds, you're going to hear one, Anna, 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 with a very high guitar part all the way in your right ear. Listen out for this. It's a really cool piece. It's just like two notes at a time. Bugga, dugga, dugga, dugga. Wild to hear. Okay, there's so much going on, but I thought that was a really fun little thing to point out because very rarely do you hear guitars playing that type of role where it's almost like acting like percussion in the groove. But if that wasn't there, something would feel like it's missing because everything else is so low, it's so heavy, it's pushing forward, right? There's a lot of momentum, but having that dug up, 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 really, 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 really cool. The other thing I wanted to point out, and this, this is gonna tie the bow on this entire reaction series. In, I believe, the menu theme, from disc one, the very first track that we heard, at one point towards the end, we heard a moment where it was a minor song the whole way through, and we had one moment where we heard a major third, the interval of a major third. And that's significant because it's not that often that that happens. And to show you how sort of different that is, it's like, Now listen for the note I'm gonna play. <laughs> it's like, whoa, 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 hang on. It doesn't quite fit with everything around it, right? But the way it was fit in worked in that disc one. Now we actually heard, and I believe there is a connection here because we heard this same idea of gesturing towards this major third a couple of times throughout this entire soundtrack. And sure enough here, and bury the light, in the verse melody, right at the end of the verse, we also hear that same. Thank you. Oh, yes. Okay. I did have it right. Right. I did have it right. Okay. okay. I was like, man, did I really not hear that right the first time it came around? Did I really miss? No, no, no. I had it right. Thank you, chat, for saving me and making, I was like this close away from striking gold. Thank you, chat. Yes, so we had that major third. So the entire time, we're hanging out like this D Phrygian thing, D minor thing, and then having that F sharp there right at the end. Thanks for saving me, chat. Whew. <laughs> All right. Saved in the clutch. Thank you guys so much. Hey, please hit like, subscribe, crush that notification bell. If you are a gamer and you like to understand more about your favorite game music, you do that with something called music theory. Music theory is like when Neo learned Kung Fu in the Matrix. He's like, oh, I know Kung Fu. That's what music theory is for understanding music. Once you understand music theory, it's like the hidden tips, tricks, the hidden systems that makes music sound the way it does. If you wanna understand that, there's a course I made for you. It's in the description. It's a music theory for gamers course. Go check it out. Grab your spot if you're interested.